the realization within me. At the age of 13, I was invited to a gay wedding. My mom put her hand in front of my eyes when they kissed. All I saw was nothing but screams of joy and love. I asked, why can't I see? My mom responded, it's not right. I grew up knowing it is a disgrace not to be of society's standard. At the age of 15, I asked my mom, what if my brother is gay? That's fine, right? She responded, that's embarrassing, and reasoned out that others will judge us. I grew up knowing it is embarrassing not to be of society's standard. At the age of 17, I was confused. Why would people choose to love the same gender? Isn't that against the Bible? I had a lot of questions I wanted to ask, but I brushed it off and those questions have been left at the back of my mind. I grew up knowing it is against the Bible not to be of society's standard. At the age of 19, I was shocked. Why is my girl best friend dating a girl? That's not fine, right? My brother responded, so what? And said to support her as it makes her happy. I started thinking differently about what relationships should be. There is more to a man and a woman. At the age of 21, I became open-minded. I held an event with the partner community and had an open forum. Counselors were in front of the room and participants of ages 15 years and older were sitting across. A participant asked, Bakit may LGBTQ kung bawal sa Biblia? A sister counselor said, we don't look at how they look, speak, dress, and who they choose to be and love. It is all about the actions and how one treats others. What a pity that I was taught that it was a shame not to be of society standard. What a pity that it took me eight years to know better. I feel guilt in myself perce perceiving people as indifferent. But what can you do when a 13-year-old is taught that it's not right? Now, I will take off the hands that first didn't allow me to see. The beauty of love can be not just between a man and a woman, but a love that chooses no boundary.